with final arguments concluded. Treasuries rubbished out his legal bid as a sham. It said the civil body had the pertinent documents, but failed to point to any corruption and unfairness conclusively. Civil society is a watchdog, but it must get out of its kennel and bark. It can't just curl up because the night is cold and wait for an opportune moment and then decide to band together with certain other like-minded watchdogs and constitute themselves an organization on the eve of the attack. Outer maintained a brave front while government tore through its arguments. If you're going to ignore the public, then you need to be prepared for the backlash. That's what's happening right now. And, uh, and, and that's what those laws are designed to do. It called the implementation of tolls unlawful. Judge Louis Forster will now review all the submissions before him. His ruling due early next year could be the final legal stamp of approval for the e-tolling system to go ahead. Or he could put the brakes on the controversial system. The Department of Transport has welcomed the review process. Our legal representatives try to deal with that, uh, get to the bottom of the details of what is it that government did uh, to ensure that there is a sufficient public participation uh, so far as this process is concerned. And indeed, uh, the court was uh, taken into government's confidence with regard to the various processes dating back to 2007. Kosatu is still planning a march in Johannesburg on Friday. We will go to the highways. We've said that we will embark on civil disobedience, which will include occupying the highways and claiming them as ours. These are our highways. They are new. They are not new highways built uh, by the 20 billion. Gauteng Kosatu Provincial Secretary Dumisani Dakile cautioned if government didn't listen, then people would have no choice but to demolish those toll gates. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News, North Gauteng High Court.